Rock Stars, Lid Shaw. I'm here at AES New York on the floor. 2017, I'm here with Matt Pliskin from Focusrite Pro, and he's gonna show us some cool stuff that you may have not known could be an awesome addition to your home studio if you're ready to grow your home studio. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing great. So tell us a little, you were just beginning to tell me about Focusrite Pro here and what you're doing. Absolutely. So we announced our new division of the company, Focusrite Pro, here at AES. Basically, the idea is to cater to working audio professionals to help provide them with the solutions that meet their needs. Right here behind us, we have our red range of interfaces, a great solution for a home studio or a pro studio. So these are Thunderbolt audio interfaces. They also connect via DigiLink, so if you're running a Pro Tools HD card like HD Native, HDX, HD Thunderbolt, um, these will connect with DigiLink directly to them, but if you just want the Thunderbolt audio interface, this is a great solution too. So it's a great interface, we have excellent sounding mic preamps, A to D, D to A line level connections, ADAT, SPDIF, as well as Dante. So the Dante connectivity... This, is, this will do 64 in and 64 out if you needed to? So the 16 line here, this is our newest addition to the red line, 64 by 64 interface. So you have 16 channels of analog to digital and digital to analog conversion, 16 channels of ADAT, two channels of SPDIF, as well as 32 channels of Dante. So that's, a, that's a mouthful. Absolutely. It's quite a lot of I.O. in one box at a pretty attractive price point. The Dante connectivity, to me, makes it really powerful. So let's say you're in a home studio, you already have Ethernet wired in your house you can take this and make any room in your house an isolation booth. So we also announced another new product there, X2P. It's just a small two input, two output Dante device. So you take that into a room, now you have a vocal booth. Let me just jump in for a sec. Rockstars, if you're not familiar with Dante, my layman's understanding of it is essentially a, a protocol that just uses an ethernet cable. The same ethernet cable you've been plugging into the back of your computer, you can now send tons and tons of audio over, right? Exactly. So it's a, a protocol based on existing ethernet standards. So you're using regular Cat5e, Cat6 cables, uh, off the shelf gigabit switches from companies like Cisco. So it's nothing proprietary or overly expensive, very easily to obtain, easy to replace if you need to. And it allows you a lot of flexibility in terms of moving audio into different rooms or just piecing together a great solution. Uh, another great thing about Dante is you have 300 manufacturers making this Dante enabled equipment. All of it connects together in a very easy user friendly way. So you don't just have our equipment, you have a choice of a wide variety of equipment for manufacturers that make very different things. Okay, so let's kind of break it down a little bit for the rock stars. So um, if you wanted to take your home and sort of your home studio setup and start having connectivity into different rooms rather than traditionally having to run all kinds of mic lines through the walls, uh, a lot of homes now are built with Ethernet already in the house, right? It built exactly. in? Yeah, that's totally the case. So you might have one of these in your like control room or studio room and then take one of our smaller boxes. We have a wide variety of different products to accommodate different types of I.O., whether it's line level, mic preamps, etc. So you take a few of those or maybe just one of them, depending on what you need to plug in, run that into another room and you're good to go. Okay, so now you would have people in different rooms with different boxes. The Ethernet is bringing it all together to the control room. And is it also bringing the uh, Q-Mix back to those people listening, or is that is that an Ethernet system as well for Qs? Yeah, so that product I mentioned, the X2P, uh, it's two mic preamps in, but it also has a stereo receive, so you send two channels over the network to it, and that comes out on headphones as well as line outputs. Another gra great thing about these interfaces, they have built-in DSP for low latency hardware mixing, so you can create a custom Q-Mix. We have an iOS app that integrates with this that's free on the App Store, so use it on your phone, use it on an iPad, and you can actually adjust your headphone mix from that other room. Okay, cool. And then what about, um, you, you mentioned low latency. Is that an issue at all, or is that something to be to understand as far as having musicians playing through this digital connection, or is it all just synced up so that you just, you're all playing together in real time? Yeah, so the Dante aspect of it is extremely low latency. It depends on how many switches you have through your network. In most situations, you won't be using really more than three. So we're talking about 250 microseconds of network latency. Um, being a Thunderbolt interface, this is extremely low latency as well. So microseconds means not even one millisecond. So a quarter of a millisecond is 250 miles. That's pretty fast. Yes. That's about as fast as, what's the, I don't remember what the measurement is, but I think like if I'm standing here and talking to you, we're already getting into 250 That's microseconds. Five That's five it's milliseconds. roughly a millisecond per foot. That's right. Okay, cool. Um, what else do we need to know about? Anything else, or is that, that pretty much breaks it down? That's really, you know, some of the exciting stuff to show you here. Um, we also have our full RedNet line, which is all a modular line, so 
very easy to expand what you have in here with more, whether it's 16 channels of ADD and D to A, eight channels of great sounding remote controllable mic prees. We basically have a different product in that line for each type of traditional audio connectivity. So RedNet's more of a modular setup, um, so if you need a really large setup, it definitely accommodates that, or if you're just trying to expand off of this, it's great for that as well. Right on. Um, let our listeners know how they can find you guys online and uh, where they can go pick up one of these units themselves. Absolutely. So with the Focusrite Pro launch, we actually have a new website specifically for this division. So if you go to pro.focusrite.com, that's where you'll find us. Also, if you happen to be browsing our regular Focusrite website and you click on the links for any of these ranges, it's going to automatically redirect you there. Uh, in, ter in terms of purchasing, we're available from a lot of retailers around the country. I don't really like to name one or the other. You know, don't want to pick favorites. They're all Another, you won't have trouble finding it, in other no, words. Certainly not. Cool. Well, um, thanks so much. Been a pleasure talking with you, Matt. Likewise. Uh, rock stars, please remember if you dig this video, like, subscribe, share the video, and in the comments below, drop in a comment, say hello, let us know how you would hook up your home studio if you could use Ethernet to connect your different rooms. Where would that be useful for you? What would you? What kind of problems would you like to see solved by a solution like that? See you guys in the next video. Cheers.